how's it going, my dudes? It is the I, Toby Trin, back at it again with another video. And you know what? Today is not one of my normal cringy videos. Today is an educational cringy video. So, uh, yeah, I was asked to do a science project on Newton's laws of uh, motion. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do today. First wall, smell a test. Oh god! See, seeing as I am Dr. Dankless, I am not, uh, not qualified to teach this job. So, uh, I'll be right back. So, uh, alright, what's up guys? Terrible teacher here. And, uh, yeah, we're fixing to learn about the three laws of Newton's motion. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, before we cringe any harder, let's do this. Alright, so, uh, starting out, I'm here with Vicious Wiener Dog, Leon. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna be learning our first law, which is inertia or an an I'm a science teacher, not a grammar teacher. I'm sorry, Newton. You know Newton's first law? It's uh, that an uh, object will continue at its current state until acted upon by an outside force. You know what inertia means? Like, we're driving. You know what inertia means, Leon? You don't? I'm sorry. I love you. Well, so after I abused my wiener dog, yeah, <laughs> I feel like a horrible person. But so pretty much what uh, the first law is, it's um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking and driving at the same time as what I'm pretty talented, right, Leon? An object will stay at its current state until acted on by an outside net force. And by meaning that, like, let's just say bucket right here. It's up against the tailgate. So it's going to be up against that tailgate when I accelerate because it's standing still right now. If I were to accelerate, then it would fall back. But let's see what happens to this barrel when I'm, all right, so I'm accelerating. All right, so now it's currently going the speed of my utility vehicle. Now what happens if I suddenly, oh God, it's here. Sorry, Leon. It was going at the same speed over here and it kept going and when I stopped the only thing that stopped it was friction so it was still going while well, this object right here stopped it's still going until stopped by all this stuff and friction that's a that's a lesson from you I hope you learned that but uh, we're going to move on to the second wall real fast I swear Leon I'm sorry I didn't mean it but uh, yeah we're headed on to the next wall right now and uh anyway the wall, the second wall is pretty simple. The heavier, the heavier an object is, the more force it takes. The smaller the object, the less force it takes. So obviously if I try to push snowball here, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's not gonna work. And also it gives us an exact relationship between mass, force, and acceleration. So let's just say snowball here weighs 2,000 pounds which probably weighs way more than, it weighs way more than 2,000 pounds. Pushing at 0.5 millimeters a second. 1,000 times 0.5, and then you would get my Newtons. And, uh, yeah, the Newtons force I was doing. Anyway, it moved zero milliseconds a second. Let's go to some examples. Like, we started off with snowball. Snowball is pretty heavy. But then we have chair, meat chair. <laughs> Chair doesn't win. But if I meet Mr. Tree over here and I apply my Newtons to it, <clears throat> it moves It moves a total of a mile a second. No, just kidding, it's not gonna move. But pretty much, you get things like kicking a wall and kicking a ball. You know, the wall's not going anywhere because you're not strong enough to kick it unless you're the Hulk. But the ball will go somewhere unless you're an infant. So, uh. Yeah, moving on to the third law. Third law is pretty diggity darn decent. So pretty much is every action has an equal or opposite reaction. Pretty daggum simple. So uh, have you ever been that type of guy who just, you know, gets tired of trying the race go karts? You know what? Let's just hit everybody. And then when you hit them, they move forward and then you move backwards, you hit, it's like, it's an off, it, off it, uh, English, okay, it's an opposite force. And uh, here's an example of an equal. So we have snowball here again, and uh, I'm gonna apply my force. Nothing happened, because snowball's force is greater than mine. You see bear? That's bear. Bear's a puppy, I'm a human. 
See? It moved. And it's not animal abuse. The dog always loves that. So, uh, yeah, human wins all the time. Snowball wins and human wins. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's going to conclude my little uh, scientific investigation here. And uh, I hope you actually learned something. Nature is... Nature is just so dead gone cold, dude. I am, no, I'm over it. I'm going inside. Wiener dog! Wiener dog, let's go! Winter's coming! See you later. Thanks for watching the video. Drop a like and, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah.